John. It is my pleasure to present this year's National Humanitarian Medal. The National Humanitarian Medal is American Humane's most prestigious honor that recognizes individuals who truly exemplify what it is to be humane and first to serve. Tonight's honoree, Mr. Brad Andrews, is a humble man with a list of career and lifetime achievements that's anything but modest. We honor him tonight for those incredible contributions that he's made more than four decades to the space of humane conservation, conservation of remarkable and endangered animals in the world's leading zoological institutions. He is an internationally recognized figure in the field who has dedicated his entire life to caring for extraordinary animals. And who better to help us honor this admirable advocate than our great friend and supporter of American Humane? Please meet Jack Hanna. Hey Brad, it's Jack Hanna. When American Humane told me they were presenting you with their National Humanitarian Medal, I was thrilled to death. For many years, you've been an inspiration to me and many others, a lot of others, who work day in and day out caring for our world's creatures. The other thing, Brad, is I must tell you, I learned, as I just said, a great deal from you. Not just me, but thousands of people that went there, learned from what you did with SeaWorld, Bush Gardens, all the, it was amazing what it was. As you know, my wife's in love with you. She always has been uh, because she just loves how you taught people what you meant to a lot of us in the animal world. Uh, it's just, you know, it's needless to say, you've had an extraordinary impact on my work. And I'm honored to know you and can't think of anyone more deserving of this award. Congratulations, Brad, and hopefully we'll continue to work together, um, I guess, to our death dying day, because both of us love the animal world so much. And uh, God bless your family and uh, c congratulations. It's my privilege and honor to present this year's National Humanitarian Award to Brad Andrews, a true champion of animals everywhere. Brad, please join us. Congratulations, Brad. I'm going to move the mic just to pitch up, okay? I won't keep you long, really, because I know you're all busy, but I, I'm very thankful and humbled with this award. I've never received anything quite like this in my life. Um, but I'm blessed because I've had the opportunity for 45 years to spend or find and spend millions and millions of dollars saving wildlife around the world. And that's a rare opportunity for individuals. It's a rare opportunity because I never planned on working with animals. That wasn't my career choice. I was going to be a dentist. But I suddenly realized that these weren't going to be very useful. But I have to tell you, I'm worried. As I travel the world and I look at things today, I'm very worried. As you know, we're in the middle of the sixth mass extinction. And it's not because of external issues. It's because of us. Human beings, quite frankly, are the only life form on Earth today that can either fix it or not fix it. I could have used a bad word there, but I'm not going to. The reality is, if we don't get out there and do something different, the animals can't change a thing. They really can't. So we have to do that. And being human beings, we do things that we shouldn't sometimes. But if you think about this, in the sixth mass extinction, if you have a baby born today, within 75 years, half of the species on this earth will be gone. Gone. Do you care? I care. That's why I want to continue to do what I do. And I don't know the answers to all these questions, but I'm going to give you a little analogy of something I learned early in my life. I ended up playing the sport of rugby. Now you probably think, what the hell does that have to do with animals? It was a bunch of animals that played it. <laughs> but after my first game, I was bruised and bloodied, and we lost. And I came off the field, and I said to the coach, and I said, what does it take, Pat, to win? I want to know what it takes to win. 
And he says, you need to know four things in life. And I said, please tell me. And he goes, you have to have fire in your heart. You have to have ice in your brains. I thought, well, okay. I, I, I think I can do that. And he started walking away from me. And I said, whoa, 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 Pat, what's the other two? He goes, you've got to be smart and fast. And ladies and gentlemen, I contend we're very smart people, but we're not fast. And that's the dilemma we're in today. We're not fast enough to make change. So thank you so much for this, but I want you to all think about that so you can do things faster, smarter, and let's change the world, regardless of the politics and the other crap out in the world. Let's make this earth good for animals and us together. Thank you.